Hi guys, so today I want to talk about intent. When I go to a normal um, commercial gym, I see a lot of people going through their workout, just going through the motions in their workout. And I've actually had it with clients before in the past as well, um, in that they'll do what's prescribed, but they'll do it with the lowest amount of intensity, the lowest amount of effort you can see. And what happens as a result of that is you don't get any results because if you're training with no intensity, you're not going to put your body under any kind of um, stress. You're going to challenge yourself, and you're just not going to see any results. So I think it's really important when you're training for anything in that you're actually putting in a degree of intensity into your training and actually putting in some good intent into what you're doing rather than just thinking, okay, I'm going to do a workout today, plod through it, go through the motions. Because if you do that, you're not really going to see any results. If you just go out and have a sort of mild jog, just chilling out, that's fine. If you're just looking to de-stress, just looking to sort of unwind from the day, but if you're actually looking for results, you need to add an element of intent and intensity to that when you're training. So, for example, for a cardiovascular session, it might be that you add some intervals in there, or it might be that you set yourself a time that you want to try and beat, it might set yourself a distance you want to try and cover in that time. Um, for strength training, obviously, it's just working with strong intent, really working on every rep. And I think a big thing as well, not, not just intent on the whole, the workout as a whole, but having good intent on every movement. And actually, I want to uh, talk a little bit more about that because I've seen some, some people do workouts and I see it, you know, whenever I see people train, in that they have no focus on making sure they're trying to get quality of movement. So not only is the intent of your workout to have, you know, good intensity and be working at the effort required for that workout, but also when you're working on movements, your number one focus should be on making sure you're getting quality movements, okay? Quality movements means full range of motion. If you're working through a full range of motion, you're gonna be training the most number of muscle fibers. So make sure you have a full range of motion. Make sure that any exercise you're doing, you're maintaining a strong posture position on. So whether that's a squat, where you're maintaining that scapular retraction as you go down and back in that back squat, okay? Deadlifts, obviously, it's important for your safety that your posture is in strong position. Bent over rows, really, people are guilty of some really poor postures on that. Single arm rows, even worse. Um, just body weight stuff as well. See, like body weight, you see squats where people are just going like this, okay? That is a big thing I see in the class. Not a CrossFit class, because we're a bit more strict. Uh, we do see it, but we have to be very vigilant to make sure. But in stuff like boot camps, where it's loads, loads of reps, like, you know, you say, like, squat, 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 30 seconds of squats, and people will just be like, yeah, jumping up and down. Um, Press-ups are another big one. If you do not have a full press-up, okay? Now, a full press-up is from whatever um, hand width you're going to be working on for this session, you need to be going down, chest to floor, and then back up again, okay? At worst, 90 degrees, and back up to full extension. If you cannot do that, or you end up doing a press set where you just drop, roll out, okay? Make sure you scale the movement so that you can go through the full range of motion of the muscles you intend to work. So when I see press ups and I see people doing this, okay, that is giving you very little in terms of muscle activation, okay? You're not gonna get the right stimulus from doing little tiny mini, mini press-ups. I'd much rather see someone do a press-up from their knees and work from a nice pivot position here all the way down and all the way back up again than do a toe press-up because they feel like they're doing more of a press-up and doing no range of motion. Even that, not a range of motion. If you start doing it and your elbows start flaring out that way, again, that is not the intent of how you're putting yourself at a risk of injury as well. So approach every exercise, approach every workout with the intent of working with the intensity required and making every movement as high quality as possible. If you don't know how to do a movement, then ask a coach or a trainer. Hopefully you're not training at a 24-hour global gym where the only trainer is a CCTV camera on the wall. Um, because there are plenty of people that are willing to help you out if you go somewhere um, where there's quality coaching. 
But don't go into a workout. First of all, go through emotions, because going through emotions, I suppose I would say once in a blue moon, you could do one workout, you go through emotions, where you literally just think, I just need to do something, um, or you can't be up for it. But the value of that workout is going to be minimal. Much better to try and approach every workout and think, OK, I'm going to put everything I can into making sure that I'm working to the intent required. I'm going to work towards getting quality of reps out, work towards making sure I'm working at exactly the intensity that my coach is asking me, or the workout that prescribed is asking of me, or that I prescribe myself. And go through every single movement with the intent that you're going to focus on that range of motion, that quality of motion, that postural control. And I think really important, actually, that I haven't mentioned yet, is whatever exercise you're doing, before you do the exercise, make sure you know what muscles are supposed to be working on that exercise. What are you supposed to be feeling on that exercise? Because stuff like, you know, good mornings, you know, exercise where the barbell is on the back and you're bowing forward from there, very easy to do that heavier load, flex forward, just uncurl your back and don't activate your hamstrings at all, where the whole principle of that is to be activating your hamstrings. So if you know that your goal is to be able to feel those hamstrings reach their end range at the bottom of the motion and then to feel like you're driving through the heels and pulling with your hamstrings on the way up, you're going to get much more out of that exercise. Okay? The same with any movement. The more you're aware of the muscles you're trying to activate, the better you're going to do that movement. The whole intent of prescribing different workouts is that you're prescribing the workouts and covering the muscle groups that, as a coach, you want your athlete to cover. So really important that before you do anything, you know what the principle of exercise, what the purpose of exercise is. Is, is it an exercise where you're trying to build, you're trying to work at speed? Is it an exercise where you're trying to work time under tension? Have an, have an idea what you're trying to do before you just jump in and start doing stuff. Okay? That's a really important thing. And the same applies if you're trying to work on flexibility as well and stretching. You need to work out the muscles you're going to be stretching, what you're trying to do, because then you can focus on that as a, as a big um, carryover. If you're focusing on what you're trying to do, you're much more likely to activate the muscles you're trying to do. You're much likely to stretch the muscles you're trying to stretch if you know specifically where you're supposed to feel that movement. So every time you're doing something, know what you're trying to do. Know what the purpose of the workout is and try to adhere to that as much as possible. And feel like when you come away from that workout, you've done everything you can to make that workout really count and have some quality of movement, quality of work in there. If you do that, you're going to get results. If you're just turning up, just going through crappy movements, crappy intensity, and going home, you're not going to see any results. So next time you come and do a workout, when you finish, look at yourself and think, have I done everything I need to do in that session? Was I doing everything I can? Um, with the, the intensity and the quality that I require. Do that, you see good results. Thanks, guys.